What's going on guys? Welcome back. This is Tyler Frazier. Um, we're over here today at Orlando Harley-Davidson on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Sitting in front of us today we have a brand new 2023 Lowrider ST and this awesome white sand pearl. Now this silhouette of a motorcycle right here is pretty much one of my favorites. Um, I come from the dirt bike background so the Lowrider S setup for me is uh, most ideal for my riding style and what I like comfort wise. But I also used to have a 2021 Road Glide Special. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. It's kind of like his little brother. So you got your fixed fairing up front. They kind of did a new modern look as the uh, old FXRT fairing. They also took the clamshell bags uh, off of the Sport Glide and have those on here with a quick detach setup as well. So you can run it bagless as well and give it a kind of different look. This bike right here in the White Sand Pearl, I really love it. Uh, I like classic cars. This kind of gives me that old school 1950s, 1960s classic truck vibe. Um, something I would do personally is maybe, you know, give it a little bit of a, a hint of color with some, you know, maybe blue pinstriping on the bags, on the tank and the fairing. I kind of did that with my Rogue Glide because it was blacked out just to give it a hint of color and kind of break up those lines and accentuate the lines of the bike actually. So with the Lowrider ST, we do still have the same uh, Milwaukee 8117 power plant that we did in the previous year. This bike right here still has your five gallon tank, so plenty of gas to get out on the road and go for hundreds of miles without having to stop and fill up. On the Lowrider ST, you do still have your digital gauge right there on top of your top mount for the uh, bar setup. And you also have cruise control available as well, which is nice when you're going on longer rides down on the highway either north or south uh, Florida really helps out a lot. Another feature on the Lowrider ST that comes standard on it is your mid control setup as well. That's most comfortable for me. Um, I am a taller guy, so I do like to stretch my leg out. So what I do is I usually end up running an engine guard bar towards the front. That way I spend a couple hundred dollars as opposed to $1,500, $2,000 switching to forward controls. I can still get the aggressive maneuverability with the mids and then on longer rides, stretch my feet out onto that engine guard bar, as well as protecting the bike in case it, God forbid, tips over. So like we do in all of our video guys, um, I'm 6'2", about 215 for size and height reference. I'm gonna throw a leg over this bike, that way you guys can see where I end up uh, hand position, body position wise. So let's throw a leg over real quick. So pretty light bike, you're sitting over uh, just below 700 pounds on this bike, so the high sixes lift up that right leg there you still got plenty of clearance on the shin from the ram elbow um, some guys don't prefer it because they end up hitting their shin on there good thing is is that you can just switch this out right here with a few little bolts and go to the old style or whatever you may like um, once again this bike has a nice little mini riser on there so my hands are just below shoulder width uh, shoulder height which is you know pretty comfortable for me and it does have a pullback um, i prefer pullbacks even though I'm a taller guy, I like a little more bend in my elbows. So maybe just, you know, an inch or two higher would be ideal. I usually run a 12 inch on my bikes. So this is a good setup right here. But uh, as far as this bike goes, guys, I mean, this thing is essentially a road glide, um, but with a lot more performance oriented parts as far as the inverted front end with the dual disc brakes and your 117 motor. So if you don't necessarily need the touring chassis, but you want something similar to that, this has everything you need straight from the factory. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. Um, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, link them or uh, comment down below the video here for us and or call into the dealership, ask for Tyler, and I can answer anything for you and or email me, um, which is tfraser at Orlando Harley Davidson or at orlandoharley.com, and I'll get back to you. Um, otherwise, guys, we hope you like and subscribe for future videos, uh, be on the lookout. And hopefully we got some, uh, you know, anniversary models coming up here next because those just got released. So hopefully the next video or two, we'll see one of those bad boys out here. Take care and enjoy your day.